Hey there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ back with another tip of the day. Now, as a professional DJ, you might encounter some situations like at a festival or in a club where you need to play on standalone DJ gear and bringing a laptop simply isn't feasible. Now, with the latest release of Virtual DJ, you can still export your set list and tracks to a USB flash drive and take it with you to play directly on Pioneer CDJs or other compatible standalone players. Now, while these units will not have all the powerful features that you are used to when using Virtual DJ directly, you will still have all of your cue points, saved loops, and other database information, as well as the ability to export and play your stem separations files. Here's how to do it. First, you'll need to have a USB drive that is formatted properly. Now, it needs to be formatted in either FAT32 or HFS file system. However, we recommend that you use FAT32 as it can be used with both Windows and Mac computers. Now, most USB flash drives will come formatted for FAT32 direct from the factory, so you shouldn't have to take any extra steps. However, if you do need to reformat, you can easily do so via right-clicking on the drive in Windows Explorer or on your Mac in your Disk Utilities application. Now, open Virtual DJ and then the left-hand folder list, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on the CDJ export folder. Virtual DJ will then expand and show the USB drive that you just formatted or any other compatible USB drive. Now right click on your thumb drive and select create new playlist. Now give your playlist a name, then browse or search your library for the tracks you wish to add, then click and drag them to your playlist. After adding your tracks to the playlist, Virtual DJ will ask you if you wish to add stems files. Now because CDJs don't support real-time stem separation, you can still have Virtual DJ create the individual stems tracks if you choose to. Now click OK and Virtual DJ will begin to export to the USB drive. You can see the progress in the status message area next to the search bar. Now because CDJs rely heavily on playlists for track organization, it might be a good idea to use subfolders to organize your multiple playlists. Now right click on the USB drive and select create subfolder. Now give your subfolder a name. Now you can create a new playlist inside the subfolder and go ahead and add tracks to this new playlist. Now repeat this process to create new playlists or other subfolders. Then search your library to add new tracks by dragging and dropping until you are satisfied with your thumb drive library content and organization. Remember, Virtual DJ will continually export to the USB drive as you make changes. Just note the status message next to the search bar. Additional options such as auto-sync cue points and auto-generating the stems files are also found by right-clicking on your USB drive. Now that we have finished exporting, go ahead and close Virtual DJ and eject your drive via Windows or OS X eject function. Now, insert this drive into your CDJ. Mount the thumb drive by pressing on the USB button on the CDJ and you are now ready to rock your gig with the ability to browse your playlist, load tracks all with their own cue points, search and sort using all tag fields, and also have the individual stems files to load in order to remix your tracks. As you can see, Virtual DJ makes it simple and easy, even if you're not even using the actual software. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. If you have an idea you'd like to see in our next tip, email tipoftheday at virtualdj.com.